G'day Appleberry's family, Terry King here. Very, very excited to introduce you guys to Josh Skeen. He is our artist that put this amazing mural together. And he's come in today on his day off, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and he's actually gonna walk us through some of the highlights of the mural and a little bit about the story behind it because every one of these paintings has a story. And I'm just really, really excited to first of all to understand what that story is and the second of all to document it so that when I fall off the perch that story <laughs> isn't lost. The white dots through this part here just basically means traveling, traveling as they're getting older. As you move up a little bit further, a bit of the, the ocean because right here you have the the water theme for the kids so we wanted to try and you know put it all in together. With that I've, I've also tried to incorporate a little bit of Finding Nemo you know, the movie. Yeah, yeah. Um, you got the, the, the fish here, then you got the jellies. And in that it. story, they, they, they were traveling a, a fair distance to get to Nemo. So, yeah, we've, we've brought all the traveling through. And these drawings here, Josh, is that called an x ray drawing? What we call cross hatching. It's the same with over here with our, uh, our dolphins. We've put the same thing in there with the, the cross hatching because we wanted it to stand out. We've put in a, a few of the crabs and if you come up a bit closer, you can see the baby turtles are put in here. Uh, this is a clutch of eggs. You know, they're, they're all born in, in the same clutch, so they come out and they go yeah. head back to the sea. Back. You've got the uh, Westdale Eagle being a red colour. So uh, he's also my totem. He's, he's your a, totem? He's a totem. My grandmother is, is from Cookie Alangi, uh, and that was their totem. He's kind of like the, the watcher, so he, he watches over you so when he flies. Again, the, the, the traveling signs and the, and the yarning circles, and uh, we've put all that through, and I've put a, a green thing in, uh, theme in here, so the rainforest area, yeah. yeah. So I'll put in here, we've got a, a cassowary with uh, four babies, and yes, if you, if you come back and you have a look at the wedge tail, looks like he's coming down to swoop them, <laughs> and old mum's having a look, and you know, pretty much daring him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll, I'll hit you with that little bony plate yeah. on my head. <laughs> So I've put in the water holes and, and um, put the crocodile in there to try and give the kids a bit of a thrill. Nice. And uh, you move down and through here on the, on the water hole, you get to the end and you have the, the taipan. And that taipan is also your totem? Yes, he, he's also my totem. Yeah, so. the big male kangaroo, he's also a totem of ours for uh, the Birigapa clan. Um, that's up in Bowen area. Okay. The mother kangaroo with the little joey down here, sort of catch the kids' attentions and see if they see it. Yeah. Right, so over here we have the water hole coming back up through the painting into a nice little water hole here and another one here and another one up here. That's got the, the two frogs and a frilly lizard. The reason why I put the frogs in there is because what kid doesn't love frogs? Uh, with these marks here, this here is the kangaroo tracks. Yeah. So there's kangaroo jumping through. Again, I've put them up here. Um, the reason why I've put these in is because I want the kids to to see and ask question, uh, questions. I want them to say, hey, what does this mean? The ewes are the woman and the ones are the man. Yeah. Uh, so up here on the, on these, here where the emus are, you have a different track again. So we have an emu track sort of coming down through here and, and walking along. As you, down here, I've, I've put in a couple willy wagtails. <laughs> And those willy wagtails, they, they really, for me, that, that represents um, my grandmother and grandfather, being that um, I lost my grandmother um, a couple of years back, and, you know, that was her favourite bird. And, uh, up in the trees here, we've put in uh, the koalas, so one here and one here, and we've put in these cheeky buggers as well, <laughs> being the cockatoos, nice. punk rockers of the animal world. <laughs> uh, that's actually a drain pipe, a water pipe, and it's kind of a, an eyesore in the whole bloody wall that we've got here. But what he's done is he's actually incorporated that into the trunk of the tree. So you really can't even tell that it's a water pipe, which is, mate. Is it a 3D look? <laughs> yeah, that, that's sure genius, mate. <laughs> yeah, again, I'll, I'll credit that to Sarah. She, she came up with that idea, guys. Here we have the, uh, the grass trees. So we got the spears and for us Aboriginal people, they were uh, essential because, well, let's face it, the spear was, um, yeah, one of our main tools for catching fish or catching emus or, or kangaroo or, or, or whatnot, you know. In this part here, we're going from the rainforest, you're going into sort of to the outback. So we've got 
the green and we incorporated the yellow being that um, you know, that yellow earth as it sort of moves out towards the outback it starts sort of changing colour. And as we go into the outback, these are still your, your uh, yarning circles and stuff but the white lines, um, it sort of comes up and through these guys all up here dancing. Yeah. As they're dancing, this here I've put in as a song lines for us. So those song lines are essential for us as a people, even though know you can't see them. Down here I've put in a dingo. Well, let's face it, dingoes were, were essential, being that, you know, they, they helped us hunt, they helped us, um, or kept us uh, safe as well, like a dog does today. So this guy here, he, he's got his, what we call, killer boomerangs. Uh, killer boomerangs are in the shape of a club. He's standing like this and, and he's clapping the boomerangs. Um, um, what we got going on here is a corroboree. So these guys here, these are the kids. You got four kids I've put in. Uh, he's doing this here, guys. So he's uh, doing a kangaroo dance. So they sort of go down and, and sort of move down as, as they dance and then they come up. Like this guy here and he's doing this here. He, he's doing uh, the, the ears of the kangaroo as well. These two here, they're doing the broga dance. We'll put the, the yarning circle in here with the handprints. That's uh, another version of the using the ones what I was talking about before, we have killer boomerang. This is the shape of a killer boomerang. Oh. That there is is uh, what they used to use for hunting, fighting. We have the two males here dancing, so they're, they're sort of dancing like this. Sort of, they bring their, their, their um, leg up. Um, then we have the two females in here. So they have the coolamons here and here. Put in the ditch player here. Um, he's playing for these guys. Over here I've put in another dingo. I've yeah. left the red eyes in there just to give the kids a bit of a fright. Again, this is the outback guys, so I've put in a troop of kangaroos uh, jumping across another grass tree. Um, these here are um, dried up water holes and I've put in their echidna. So first of all, I gotta thank you, Josh, for walking us through this, mate. Um, we now understand the story behind this. I've captured it forever on video, which is awesome, and we can share it with our families and, and, and share it with our children, which is sensational. But I really genuinely want to thank you, Josh. Um, I, when you and I first met, going back, I guess, a couple of months ago now, it was probably in December, before Christmas, um, I remember walking through here and you're going, Oh geez, this is a big job, <laughs> and uh, and you absolutely knocked it out of the park, man. I could not be happier, and I know that our children and our parents are going to absolutely love it. So, from the bottom of my heart, mate, thank, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, too, yeah. Very, very honored, mate. Thank yeah, you. Thank you guys for watching. Excellent. Catch you, Appleberry's family, next time. Bye now.